What's up, Fire Fan? My name is Karen Fire, and welcome back to Kind of Exiles. Today, I have some really cool new camps to show you that they added in the recent Test Live update that will be coming to you very soon. Not only that is I'm going to be sharing some of the secrets of the camps with you today as well. What you can find and expect in these really awesome places. And we're starting off with one of the biggest and largest camps in the actual whole Isle of Sipta. Which is actually over here called Sipta's Ascension by Sipta's uh, Contemplation. There is a massive fort here. A Stygian fort in a way where you can uh, get plenty of nice boxes. As you can see, yes, that is actually essence in those boxes you can get. There's a really, really cool little secret in this camp. There might not really be a secret once I go over it, but that's fine. <laughs> well, basically, this might be actually be a really good place to infiltrate when you're a low level. Like, I mean, you know, dirty old rag cloth level where you have basically nothing and uh, you're naked or whatever. It might be a decent place to come for a, a few reasons and it's at the top up here actually that you'll find those reasons as long as you're not getting hit by these nasty frills that can be about. You could probably jump over the fence, you know, or go through the front entrance and then quickly whip yourself some of these. But basically over here is like a little training area. It's cool because they have items that you can actually pick up throughout this camp. They have as you can see, I'm getting a nice little arsenal of things that I'm finding here. And I'm pretty sure it changes sometimes what you can pick up from here. But as you can see, I got a really nice, you know, an iron broadsword, a steel throwing axe, and a stone spear, which isn't so good. But there's some free items that are steel and iron tier, which is really, really decent stuff to get started with. That and some of the loot around here is really awesome too. You just need to be careful of these, uh, you know, these angry inhabitants. That was purple essence in that chest, yes. But some of these camps are really worth plundering if you can get your hands on them. There's also little things you'll find that you can interact with, as you see. I found a hunting bow here too. you got to really keep an eye out because even I'm finding little secrets here and there on these guys that I'm finding that I can actually pick up. So I have to double check a little bit. <laughs> What I can find, not only is there like items like that, that's probably one of the easier spots to actually pull things out of. Um, there's some chests in here, some interesting stuff in these camps over here. But one place in particular I notice also having things stuck in it, and I, I do mean stuck in there, is this cart over here. Let's see if there's one here today. There's not always, but sometimes you might just find a X sticking out one of the wooden carts. Not in that one, so we'll quickly have a look around the corner, see if I can find one in one of these. But sometimes you do get an axe sticking out one of these. Unfortunately, the day is not my day on that one, I don't think, unless I'm just not looking properly. But yes, you can find uh, nice little things sticking out of objects as well, uh, and all sorts. You can also come up to this one, you can learn some special palisades if uh, you talk to Master Smelter Guzala. <laughs> Fancy name. Another car. Let me just see. I have to be looking at all the carts now. Trying to see if I can get my axe. Because there was a pretty nice Sumerian axe. I literally pulled out of one of these the other day. And Sumerian axe is something you learn at level 40. So that's an absolute bonus. If you come in here and grab in that. That's for sure. I mean you have that whole top bit. You have the whole fort that way. The whole downstairs fort. And even when you go further into the old tower. As you used to. There isn't that skeletal boss anymore as far as I can see. you got some loot chairs, so this is very uh, different from what it used to be. And you can see you've got a whole royal area here. You, you don't want to do that kind of jump. you got a whole um, a dude here guarding. Kill him if you like. You can drop some special stuff. Mace of Prince Caracas, I think. <laughs> Quite nice. If you do kill him as well, drop some nice bits and bobs and then you can see it's all kitted out here with chests so much more nicer than it used to be so much more worth going to see all of these places and exploring in them so lots of little secrets in these new camps 
And this is not the only place with vast improvements. One of the larger ones as well is the Tower Watch Keep, where you can find maelstrom creatures hanging around the place intentionally. Yes, intentionally you can get them in while the storm's not around. Sometimes you get a little bit of spawns here and there and everywhere that you can hunt out as well. But you've got this whole broken kind of elder city here, which is really interesting to see because before you didn't get really any of this, minus the, you know, the vaults, the towers, and you would have thought you would. But one way to get up to this uh, keep here is to take this direction where it's going to be guarded by the accursed lot. Now these are some uh, gnarly people. Be very careful because... Uh, they make you bend to their wheel. <laughs> but no, with this one, climb up the towers, come into the location, and you get some nice lore here, you can get some really nice items too, and it does have a secret of its very own. Actually, it has a couple of secrets, including a doppelganger. You can pick up this dude for some notes as well, but one of the most interesting parts of this camp, if you go through, collect all the chests, you get some people around here too that you can tame if you really want. It's really a rubbish heap of a camp, really, in the ruins, but that is fine as well. If we go a little bit further up into here to find the secret. So this is one of the parts that is most special about this camp. you got some special accursed berserkers. But you see these things, right? You wouldn't really think anything of it, right? Just standing there. But you can dig these up for items. You need a shovel for this, it will tell you. Now, the only way I've found to dig these up is with an actual shovel. I don't know if they're adding another shovel apart from the grave digger, but the grave digger works. However, the only way to get the uh, actual, you know, paper to learn this thing is within the vaults itself. Because you'll need those things from the library on the other map to be able to learn this. So you'll need to go to the vaults to actually get the... Uh, you know, the shovel for it, unless they add another shovel. But the grave digger is one of the ways I've found to do it so far. And you can pick it up and you get some stuff. So you can see that I got Boots of Azura in this area. So there's a lot of places like that that you can actually dig things now. I'll show you a few more in some other camps that I found quite interesting. Also, you got some, you know, different priests here and fighters as well. If you had to come to this side of the actual camp and you start climbing the scaffolding make it up to the top you have this guard here which you'll need to kill off and then we're gonna meet someone uh hi hey you stole my name <laughs> you, you can find uh, a very special doppelganger <laughs> uh, but basically you talk to uh kaya the incorruptible and you can buy some tamed yakith or a pack cleader for some more gold and those are really cool doggies. They're quite expensive at the moment, but they are really cool that you can buy some of the storm creatures off of a <coughs> doppelganger. <laughs> and I think it's really sweet that they've added this to the game and it's like by fire as well. And up here, like you got such a good location. I'm jealous of you, girl. <laughs> you got it like up by the tower. It's got like the best view and everything. So it's really, really cute. And that's not the only place with quite a spiky personality. Wow, Jesus! And I mean spiky, these people were mean. This is another camp that's, uh, well, in the middle of this kind of area. This has a, a new camp, Big Camp 01. <laughs> it needs a name first, ow. But it's the Corsairs. And they're quite a rowdy, nasty pirate group that hang out here. And they want you dead. I mean, they want you big dead. So dead that there's fresh kind of corpses everywhere. Yuck. Watch out for traps in this camp. It's very notorious for uh, trying to trick you and uh, spike you, whatever else. They even have people cheering here that want to, uh, you know, imprison you and then put you on a spike as well. Seems to be a bit of a fetish for them. I, I don't know why. You know, you're kind of weird, Margul. Just saying. This is one of these camps where you have cages you can interact with. In these cages, in the official version, what they're going to have is frills locked in them. Um, the idea is basically you'll be able to save them and uh, have them as your own thrall if you save them. That they're, they're like, want to be your friend and everything. Which is a really cool concept. It makes a lot of sense as well. And it's quite nice having a thrall that wants to be your friend without having to bonk them on the head and uh, make them submit. <laughs> yeah, this is a good place to come. It's another place where you can get nice essences in the box. All these big camps, you can get nice essences in the box. 
I think that's quite nice that they've added that into the loot table, to be honest. Some nice bits and bobs. You can even climb up to the top of the camp, where you might find a very special area. Uh, you definitely want to be careful. You don't want to fall or anything. That would be terrible. Ooh, I'm going to jump anyway. But yeah, they've got some really cool locations here. Lots and lots of loot. Uh, lots and lots of traps. Some really good uh, Corsair veterans around here as well that you can kill for their, of course, armor. Special stuff like that. And then at the very top of this camp, you have the, uh, the blood splattered area where the captain will be. Uh, we have fighters right now. There's some nice areas. There's nothing in this chest, unfortunately. But there are some other chests that you can get some pretty nice stuff from. As you saw, this one is uh, Hammer the Whale. It's exactly like the place you'd get at Neeb's door, in a way. With that loot table and that chest. And you've got some other really nice loot. And you can even walk the plank if you want to and uh, jump to your doom. Well, you know, that'd be bad. But this is not the only secretive place. If you actually fall from that plank over there, directly below that plank is a very secret space. Ooh, they have secrets too in their little house. Be careful coming down here because it's a little bit mean. They have the dungeons. As you can see, there's a little baby doggy here too with a trap. Don't step on that trap, you might actually kill the dog, which would be bad. So you can pick that dog up. But the dog apparently eats arms, so I don't know if that's a good idea, because he might just chomp on yours. Be a very bloodthirsty area. There are some notes you could pick out here as well. To be able to get scout notes and all that. There was actually a lady down there, and I picked up her note, which is pretty good. Bit moist here. Ew, can't believe I just said that word. But yeah, definitely be careful with this area. It's very dangerous with all the traps. However... It's very worth it for its loot, and it's quite fun to just explore and monkey around on all the uh, surrounding buildings and that. Now a much smaller camp, but a very valuable camp to come towards. This is a camp that has more cages for more caged people. If you can interact with a cage, there will be a fraud in there usually, but there is a very special thing in this said camp that comes in the form of a book. This book you pick up, and you will learn Elderium tools. Oh my god, I have a video further on that in the future, but worth to note, may I say, wink, wink, wink. There's also the delving mench you can learn here as well. If you didn't want to go to a normal lay shrine, you can have that possibility as well. And also in here, if you jump down into the bottom part, there's often some secret treasure hanging around. So there, there's one right now. Again, you're going to need your shovel to be able to get it out, or whatever tool. But so far, Grave Digger is the only one I found. If you found another one, let me know in the comments down below. But pretty much, you dig it up, and you can get a assortment of cool gear out of it, such as the one I just got. Black Knight Gauntlets. Yes, the one and only Black Knight stuff. Just casually, under a pillar, under a life shrine that's dead, you know. Pretty cool. Not the only place with it either as well. There's a top location up here where you can find some more accursed lot. They seem to really like ruins for some reason. And they have a nice uh, clickable as well, where you need a skeleton key to open it, but it's a different thing. So I'm going to whip out a skeleton key, I'm going to open it. I found some gear. What could it be? What did I find? I think I just found this hunting bow. Oh, I'm not sure, actually. What did I find? <laughs> I may have found that brick, because I didn't have that brick before. But no, I keep the skeleton key though. I don't know if that's intentional, but I just got some free gear via this. And of course, there are many, many more camps around the map. It would take me an awfully long time to show you them all, but I've just shown you the coolest for now. There's also a few, you know, there's like a bunch dotted around here. There's a bunch dotted around here. There's a few up here. There's a few in here. You know, they're everywhere. You And let me know if you find any secrets, anything cool, do let me know. Let me know what's your favourite thing. But there are some pretty cool new locations out and about along in Sipta, which I'm really quite happy about. Three different faction camps and all in different locations, ruling their own little areas with all the little things. Some rather gruesome things as well, but it's pretty cool to see and explore some new things on Sipta. Something to look forward to, that's for sure. I really enjoy having camps on maps like these because it gives Sipta so much more life than it usually had before because you have so many more things to discover. I think we have a accidental floating bottle here unfortunately but there you go. It's breathed some life definitely into this for sure. There's lots of new things that you can explore, lots of new loot that you can go and get 
and lots and lots of life now on Sipta. Anyways, I hope you like my little tour of the new camps of Sipta. Of course, there's a lot more than I've just shown here today. I'm leaving some out so you can go and explore some of your very own here. I don't want to spoil everything. You've got to make your own discoveries as well. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.